Hey guys, it's Drea. I have a haul for you. This is a bunch of stuff that I purchased over the last couple weeks. Um, a lot of it online. So I've been waiting for it to come in so that I can bring you this haul. So let's start out with Tarte. They've had a few major, huge sales lately. And if you're not signed up for their mailing list, I would encourage you to if you like their stuff. Because uh, recently they had a huge, just random sale where they just slashed prices on a ton of stuff. And I bought a bunch during that sale. And then just like a couple days ago, they had 25% off their entire website. So they actually do amazing sales every once in a while, way better than you would ever get, like even during Sephora VIB. I picked up a ton of stuff. A lot of it was for future giveaways, but I did get some stuff for myself. Starting with, I got two of the Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeliners. Now, I will say... I don't really use these as eyeliners. I like to use them as if they're cream eyeshadows and they work very well for that. I have rose gold already, which I bought in Sephora a while back and I love it, love it as an eyeshadow. And so I bought a couple more. Both of these I think will work as eyeshadows as well. This one is Crystal Ball, which is like an iridescent purple. Oh, it's sealed. So Crystal Ball, beautiful, iridescent, purple. Sometimes you can wear these on their own. You could add a little bit of glitter on top from something else, or you could add another shadow on top and use it as a base. Obviously, you can use it as an eyeliner as intended, um, if that's what you want to do too. And then I also got Lucky Penny, which is just like a coppery, like a metallic copper, basically. Oh my goodness, so, so, so pretty. Look at that. Like, for fall, can you imagine? They had this little set. It's kind of like a gift set, I guess. It's called... Um, it just says man eater on it, but it's got a pair of their lashes, which are so beautiful and wispy. Does it even say what kind they are? I don't know. Um, on here it says double duty beauty. I know I just saw it. it's still on their website. So if you want it, you can get it. But these lashes are just so up my alley. They're just so wispy and voluminous. And then they have the man eater mascara, which I've heard is amazing. There's also like a glossy lip paint in here. I don't know what shade it is, but it looks like it's, you know, real nice neutral and then this just says tardis pro i'm guessing it's the eyelash adhesive since there's a pair of lashes in here i also got this this is the bronzer and highlight um kind of gift set the highlight it's called glow girls bronze and Hi highlight duo the highlight is the exposed highlight and it's in a mini and when do you ever need a full size highlight? I know in my collection at least, I don't need a full size. So whenever I can get like something like this without having to pay $35 for the full size, I'm like all over it. And I have swatched the exposed highlight in store before and it's pretty nice. The bronzer is one of the Amazonian clay bronzers. It's called Hotel Eris and it's a waterproof matte bronzer. Um, I've tried their bronzers before. They're not like my favorite in the world. So I was just happy to get this and get this at like such a deep discount, I'll probably just put the bronzer in a giveaway or something. So that was everything from Tarte. Um, I have been in winners from time to time, but I've only picked up one makeup item recently, and that's another one of the Clara Cosmetics palettes. My winners is hit and miss. I've seen them bring in the, um, what's it called, the Desert Rose palette again. I've seen more copies of that there. Copies, is that the right word? <laughs> I've just seen more than there. I've seen empty boxes of the Burning Man palette, which is the blue one, and I guess somebody shoplifted the hell out of those. Um, and then I've seen a bunch of these, which are like numbered. So this is the number two pro palette. Get ready, get ready. Is this not just gorgeous? Um, it looks like somebody might have put a finger in this one, possibly, but everything else looks untouched. That's the thing with winners, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like people put their fingers and stuff there. So, but this one looks pretty untouched. Uh, th this formula, you guys, if you are able to get your hands on Clara Cosmetics, they're just so nice. Let me swatch some of the metallics too. So there's some swatches of this one. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. They're so good. I've never heard of this brand before. It's an Australian brand um, and I've only ever seen them in my winners. That's the only place I've picked them up, but now I own three palettes from them. I would just say, if you see this, don't overlook it. There was one more thing from Tarte I missed. This is the Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. Um, this is like a setting spray. It seems to yeah, it seems to have kind of that fine mist. It smells a little bit like cucumber. Um, and I don't know why, and they still haven't fixed this on their website. Maybe they will. These are marked down to $16. I 
I know the travel size is $16 because it's also on the website at $16. This is a full size that are $16. So that must be a mistake. But anyway, it's still like that as I checked yesterday. Okay, let's get on to Sephora. Now, this is actually combined a few things. I went into store. I have ordered a couple things online. It's, it's a couple trips. Okay, let's start with the first big thing. I did buy one of the Sephora Pro palettes. They came out with three new huge palettes, um, the Editorial, the Warm, and the Cool. So I bought the Editorial because I, for some reason, have been on a huge kick of getting the most colorful palettes that I can get. So this is what it looks like. It's really nice, sturdy, heavy packaging. And this particular one, the editorial, has the kind of iridescent holographic lettering on it. It's got a huge mirror that can stand up on its own, and it's got all these shades. So I have played with this a few times, probably three or four times. Um, I've worn a few looks with this. I've definitely worn them on Snapchat and showed you guys, and I snapped this a whole bunch, showed you a bunch of swatches. I don't think I'm going to do a full video on this because so many people, so many people have done that. But I might do a get ready with me. Let me know if you want to see that. I really like these. Now, a couple things. There's definitely a couple pros and cons. They are very intensely pigmented. So there's some mattes. You can see just how bright and pigmented they are. Now, one of the drawbacks which just happened is there's an insane amount of fallout. Like an insane amount of just, it goes everywhere. Um, and it's not like a soft formula it's a very dry formula but they're very powdery so like it they really they go everywhere the ones that are not matte there's like a mix of actual shimmers and glitters and metallics the metallics for example i think it's, yeah this one here insane insanely gorgeous like no fallout on the metallic right but the ones that are glitter or shimmer like for example this gold goes all over the place or these down here these kind of more chunky um, silver and white shades they kind of go all over the place so you definitely need like a glitter glue base underneath some of these shades there's not a whole lot of consistency in the mattes like some of them blend easily and some of them don't um, most of the looks I've done like with the dark purple have been easy as peasy as pie is that even an expression <laughs> to blend but then I tried using like the blue and green one day and it was a huge mess and I had to start all over so this is a very finicky palette all in all is it worth the price I think it's probably worth almost the price that they charge for it. Like this is an expensive palette for Sephora. So if you are into like this kind of colorful thing, I don't know, it's it's worth it for me personally. Like it's worth it for me to get all of this in one. I really am enjoying it for sure, but it definitely has some pros and cons. Staying in the whole colorful arena, something that I ordered but has not arrived yet and I can't wait any longer to film this haul is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I'll just put a picture right here quickly so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, because I can't wait to film this haul and I don't want to wait till like a month from now when I will probably do another haul, um, I want to show you right now that I have ordered that and let me know, I probably will do this anyway, but let me know if you'd like to see it, uh, just like a get ready with me first impressions on that palette because I've totally been into bright colors lately and that one is just bright as anything. A while back, Sephora randomly sent out a code for $15 off 50. I don't know why they did it, but they did. And so I caved and finally bought this. This is the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. So this is a um, stick foundation. And Lisa Stevens has been talking about this for a long time. Apparently it's her favorite foundation, I believe. I know she's gone through multiple tubes of it. And she has not as oily skin as me, but she has slightly oily skin. So I figured I would try it out. And I do like the Tint Idol uh, regular formula, so I thought it would be good to try this one. So this one is in the shade 140 Ivoir N, which is my shade in all Lancome foundations. I don't know what a swatch is going to do for you, but that's what it looks like. So I'm pretty excited to start trying this. I got another Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's been a while since I've had a Brow Wiz. I've been doing some drugstore brows for the most part. Um, so I got that. And then I also bought one of the Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay from the Heat line. Now I'm not buying the Naked Heat palette. It's just not for me. It looks too much of the same thing for my particular tastes. So I'm not gonna buy that, but I did swatch the lipsticks, and actually I think I saw this on Bailey Sarian 
um, first, which is why I was thinking about it. I love the packaging, this copper packaging as opposed to their chrome. It's so gorgeous. And this is in the shade Fuel, which is like a very warm tone kind of caramelly nude. So that's what that looks like. I have not tried it on yet. I'm hoping that will suit my skin tone. I think it probably will, but I think it's a really, really pretty color. It's just matte and opaque and creamy. I can't believe I did this, but I was missing it so bad. I just bought like a full size of the L'Occitane almond oil or amand oil, I should say. Um, I've only ever had these in like 100 point perks or sample sizes or whatever, but I've gone through quite a few in the past and I love it for shaving my legs. So this smells real good. It smells, some people don't like the smell, I personally do. It's got kind of a, I don't know, it's just kind of got a really nice light sweet scent to it. And I use this to shave my legs, like I said. The reason I like it for that is because after you shave your legs with this, you do not have to moisturize. Like your legs will feel so soft and wonderful. I got a bunch of point perks. I got two of the Tarte liquid highlighters in Stunner, it's called. Um, this packaging, like, I can't even rip it open. It needs scissors, so unfortunately I can't swatch it. And then I got two of these. This is the Truth Serum from Ula Henriksen, which for 100 points is amazing. My store, I wanted to go in the store and get like five of them, but somebody had already had that idea and they had none left. So um, I just had like one from each order online. And that's a fair amount for 100 points, so I'm very happy about that. And then they have also a bunch of mini lipsticks right now online, so I got two of them. One of them is from NARS. It's one of the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils in the shade Let's Go Crazy. And all of these are very bright colors, which, I don't know, like I said, I've been kind of in the mood for bright colors. So a nice bright fuchsia. And then this one is from Laura, not Laura Geller, uh, Laura Mercier in the shade Devotion. And this is kind of more of like a deeper mauve for fall. So that'll be good for fall, I think. And then the last stuff that I got from Sephora, I just went into the store yesterday. I wanted to swatch some of the stuff that I had mentioned in my recent video, um, like shop with me, what should I buy? That's in my card at Sephora right now. I'll link to that if you missed it. But one of the things in there is this single shadow from Anastasia in the shade Ballet. She has just released a bunch of single shades. And I saw it online, but you know, online colors sometimes you can't really tell. So I swatched it in store and I'm actually really glad I did because it was a beautiful pink color, but it had so much fallout that it didn't even leave as much color behind, you know, and that was with a finger swatch. So it's very kind of disappointing. But two of her new shades, were very much not disappointing. So I got the shade Enchanted and the shade Sunset. Um, if you like purples, like you know I do, this has got to be on your list. So there is Enchanted right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful, deep, um, rich metallic purple. Sometimes the camera doesn't do well with purple, so I really hope that it comes across as it does in real life. And then this next one, Sunset, if you like metallic bronzes, oh my goodness, this one is so so gorgeous, so smooth. Like that swatch right there is just so smooth going on. Ah, oh, so good. I feel like this haul is gonna be so long already and this is gonna make it even longer. So I hope you guys are in for the long haul with me. <laughs> Here's my most recent ColourPop order. I have not been a fan of ColourPop products in general for a very long time um, until recently when they came out with their pressed eyeshadows and I really, really, really like the quality of the ones I've tried already. So after trying three, I have jumped into it and purchased a whole whack of them. I don't know if this is something they do all the time, but at least with this order, when you purchase like four single eyeshadows, they gave you a palette to put them in. And you guys, these palettes are actually amazing quality. Like they're heavy. Um, they're magnetic. They're cardboard, but they're magnetic. Like, it's really amazing to me that they can do something like this for just for free. So that's awesome. So let's start off with the three shades that I'm the most excited about. So I have Tiny Tangerines, which is this gorgeous, like, I don't know, metallic turquoise. Um, Muscle Beach, which is a matte, kind of the partner to that one. And then Tiki, which is like kind of a nice complimentary yellow. 
So there's Tiki, there's Tiny Tangerines, and there's Muscle Beach. I really can't wait to play with these before summer is over. To me, these just scream summertime. I think these might be limited edition from some kind of summer collection. I bought a few mats, which are kind of in the red pink family. So I have these three here. This one is soft core, this one is cutouts, and this one is making moves. So I think those are all quite lovely. And then the last one I got right here is called Ready for Yacht, like a yacht, like a boat. Um, so that's probably from their summer collection too. This one's a little bit chunkier of a metallic, but I think these actually would make quite a nice eye look, all of them together. And since I was there, I ordered some lip products too. I got three ultra satin lips, which I like the formula of the one I've tried. And then I got one of the ultra blotted lip. Now I was confused as to what this even is. Like, what does that even mean? Um, this one is in the shade Bitto Sunny and the color just spoke to me. I don't know why. I'm not usually a red person, but I saw it online and I just thought it looked so pretty. So I don't even really know what this is, this formula, but it seems to be kind of like a gel gloss. I think the idea is that it's supposed to look like you've taken a lipstick and then blotted it just when you apply it just by itself. I got one neutral, which is in the shade Chandelier which looks right up my alley and very pretty. Yeah, that looks really nice, I think. And then I also got the Rabbit, which I know came out with their first run of these, and I always thought it looked really, really pretty. So this is like a vibrant um, kind of blue-based fuchsia shade. Yeah, that's so nice right there. Then the last one is from the I Love Sarah I. I don't really follow her, so I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 951, which just looks like your absolutely perfect um, everyday nude. Well, maybe not everyday nude. It's kind of like a brownie nude. So I think it looks a little bit different in person than I thought it would. I don't know if that actually suits me or not. Well, maybe it's a little bit similar to what I'm wearing right now. Okay, last stuff is from kind of a weird experience that... I don't know, maybe you guys want to know that. Um, I recently discovered, close to me, not too close, but close enough, there is a cosmetics warehouse outlet. And no, it's not like the ones in the States where they sell MAC and stuff like that. This is like a kind of bottom of the barrel <laughs> where makeup no one wants goes to live. And I had never been in there before, so I didn't even know what to expect, but I walked in and it was fairly big enough. Um, lots of makeup everywhere in huge bins. As I kind of walked through and kind of took a more detailed look at everything, this is like old, old, old stuff. Like stuff that has not been in store for at least five years. So yeah, it was a little bit questionable. Um, they had like real old like NYC blushes and real old Rimmel eyeshadows, um, lots of nail polish like Sally Hansen stuff. Um, which was kind of really weird and I did not want to buy any of that. I came kind of close to buying a L'Oreal concealer, but then once I realized like how old everything else was, I put it back. <laughs> the other interesting thing about this place is that they have like kind of American brands that you cannot get in Canada. So they had um, JCat Beauty, they had Profusion, which you can kind of find in some TJ Maxx's and stuff like, or not TJ Maxx, Winners here in Canada. Um, but they had it priced so high, like they had Profusion palettes for $25. I know they're in winners when I see them there for like 15. So that was strange. And then they had some higher end things, like they had Nook's body oils, which I was kind of excited about until I looked at the expired date and it had expired in April of last year. <laughs> you guys, this was a weird place and I don't think I'm going back, but I did buy a couple things. Um, because the American stuff that they had looked, you know, it looked like newish stuff, like stuff I know has still been on shelves. So I got two of these. These are the J Cat Beauty Triple Baked Eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Raspberry Smoothie, and this one is in the shade Creme Brulee. And I have actually been wanting to get my hands on these for a long time because I know that they make gorgeous highlighters. So these were six bucks a piece. I don't know how much they are in the States. Um, but let me just show you this because they did have testers actually to swatch so I knew what I was getting into. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I actually in the store didn't even swatch the darker parts because I really only wanted these for highlighting. But maybe it'll make nice eyeshadow too. I mean that is what it's intended for. And this raspberry smoothie one is like very very bright vibrant highlighter. 
Let me swatch that eyeshadow part. Well, it's all eyeshadow technically, but that's not what I'm gonna use it for. So they had the whole lineup of these. I think I might go back and get a few more depending on how I actually like these on my skin. But yeah, that was kind of exciting for me. And I picked up one nail polish just cause it was like a dollar 50 and um, nail polish doesn't really go bad, but it's real, real pretty. So this is from Sally Hansen. I don't know if it's still available. As you can see, it's just this really beautiful turquoise to blue glittery nail polish. This is in sparkling water. So that is it for my haul. I hope you really liked it. Definitely subscribe if you're new around here. I'd love to see you around in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That helps me out so much. And that is it for today. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you around in my next video. Bye guys.